menarche is a, this is a scientific term actually whenever a female baby child we can say she gets the first menses this is called menarche and uh, menarche is usually in indian uh, population this is from 10 to 13 years of the age and uh, if uh, a female child she gets uh, her first bleeding uh, even before the 10 years of the age suppose 8 years or 7 years then it is worrisome and uh, if she doesn't get the first period even after the age of 16 years then also we should uh, think about it because these things are not normal and uh, menarch uh, is uh, usually it starts with uh, heavy bleeding or with low bleeding so this is normal so we should counsel the parents that please don't worry about these things. Just you need to consult the proper doctor and take the treatment because sometimes we simply give the medicines and the child is comfortable. So we should not think, no, we are at home and let the child suffer, it will be okay. No, you first consult your doctor and take the proper treatment for the heavy flow or for excessive pain because these things make her uncomfortable and if her journey starts so terrific so it's very difficult to face her all these situations starting from an art to menopause so always better you go to the doctor and take the symptomatic treatment and one more important thing I would like to say about Menarche that uh, it's very, very normal that uh, sometimes she will get periods uh, within one to two months or she may get period uh, with a gap of three to six months or with a period of gap of 15 days. So these all things are very normal. So don't get scary with all these things. Just my message is that please consult the doctor and take the proper treatment and advice so that we are not ignoring anything and we are going in the right direction. Late menarch means uh, uh, after 13 years of the age and early menarch is uh, less than 10 years of the age. And the reason behind this are mainly hormonal so or genetic it can be. So uh, first we have to rule out uh, if if this thing happens, so this is not a normal thing, we should be aware that uh, why it has happened uh, and uh, the mother should take uh, the baby to uh, the doctor, Garnet doctor and if there is a role of endocrinologist also because there are many hormones uh, which are released uh, from many glands which are the reason for imbalance of FSH, LH, ovarian, pituitary. So this is a like, uh, you can say this is a rhythm this is not a single hormone which is controlling the menstrual cycle they, it starts from the brain you can say there is hypothalamus which releases the hormone then it works on pituitary then it works on the ovaries the ovaries also release the hormone and then it works on the uterus endometrium and which ultimately leads to the menstrual flow so it's not a single thing it's a multiple things which are involved so if any of these things are not working properly or if there is any tumor somewhere, so we have to rule it. So this is the main reason of the early or late menarche. So main thing which you can say is a hormonal imbalance. But we are worrisome just about because there should not be any tumor. But it, this is the main message. Or there should not be any occlusion of the uterus, uterine cavity from where the blood flow is coming. Or uh, there are sometimes occluded hymen. Means uh, usually there is a small space from where the blood flow comes in the menses. So we should rule out that there is not something pathogenesis which is responsible for late and early menarche. It can happen, but if we consult the doctor and doctor says yes, everything is normal, then we can get relaxed. Yeah, let us wait for a few more weeks or few, or few more months. Sometimes uh, age itself is uh, a very big uh, indicator. Apart from that, uh, the breast development you will observe that uh, there is a growth of uh, the breast tissue. So uh, actually breast tissue has mainly uh, three parts. 
which you can see that is the nipple and uh, uh, around the nipple there is areola that is the blackish portion and uh, below that there is a proper breast tissue which is made up of the glands and stroma so glands means from where the ducts and all the blood flow that uh, breast milk comes uh, and the blood flow increases as per your age approaches to the menarche so the baby the female child will say that uh, i am having breast pain and uh, the si the size of the breast will start increasing bit rapidly and uh, the pubic hair pubic hair will grow more the uh, girl will show the signs of uh, irritability or uh, bit uh, insecure feeling emotional changes and uh, it may, there may be sometimes just a spotting Uh, which uh, she can tell to her mother that so these are the main signs that age then changes in the pubic hair then changes in the breast so and emotional changes nature changes and uh, bit uh, disturbances so these physical and emotional so they show that menar is going to come and this is the very important time for the mother they should be very aware and they should give the maximum emotional support to uh, the girl child and it's always better to discuss with them that uh, uh, this can this will happen and it's a normal phenomena and it is very important to happen they should not uh, uh, think that it's a bad thing or uh, like education is very important not doing prayer during those days and all these things should be removed from the girl's uh, mind that uh, this is normal absolutely normal if this will not happen it will have to face the different health issues in future so this is very important health emotional uh, support to, to the baby proper hydration proper diet then uh, symptomatic treatment like if she is having more bleeding then uh, give the baby to reduce the bleeding if she is having pain you can tell her sim uh, simply that hot fomentation and simple pain killers which are safe will help her out to go through this as a girl approaches to 10 11 12 13 years of the age 10 years onwards so we should uh, like uh, we can uh, primalize her a bit that beta this happens and uh, uh, you will have this sort of the bleeding and uh, in the beginning you can use this uh, sanitary napkin and this is the way you should explain her thinking that you also had it for the first time and how much problem did you face so you should try your maximum that whatever problems you faced or your your experience with your friend she should not uh, suffer from those so you have to bring the sanitary napkin you have to show her because she is totally zero in that field and you have to open that remove the sticker explain her how to put on the panty and how she will changes change it what are uh, how she will feel that yeah i should change it now so all these things then uh, <clears throat> she should take the proper uh, uh, diet during those days and uh, sometimes many patients uh, they say i am not feeling like having anything so you should tell her that you can go more for the liquid diet and uh, proper hydration should be maintained some pain killers hot hot bag hot water bag should be kept along with her